This video is sponsored by TrueName Domains. Find the perfect domain for your brand at the link in the description below. Hey guys, my name is Christian Taylor. Welcome back to Crayler Made, where I like to talk all things branding, marketing, and entrepreneurship. Many of you have asked the question, Christian, which WordPress page builder is best for my website? Should I use Elementor, Divi, or WP Bakery? And if you're wondering if this question is worth asking, it absolutely is. Why? Because the page builder you pick for WordPress affects your entire WordPress experience. That's because a third-party page builder is sort of like a website builder within a website builder, something that adds to the foundation of WordPress to give you enhanced, drag and drop functionality. And the reality is, it's not easy to switch page builder plugins after you use one to build your website, so you need to choose wisely. But which one is right for you? We'll compare features, strengths and weaknesses, and pricing for each page builder to answer that question. Let's start with Elementor. Available with both free and premium versions, Elementor is perhaps the most popular page builder on the market. The free version gives you access to the drag and drop editor and access to over 40 basic widgets. The pro version unlocks over 50 pro widgets, plus a theme builder, pop-up builder, visual form builder, motion effects, premium support, and more. The free version of Elementor works great in combination with free themes like Astra or Neve. You can also utilize the Hello Elementor theme, a free option built by the Elementor team that allows you to build a custom site from the ground up. When it comes to pro plan benefits, you unlock widgets like a portfolio, gallery, forms, price table, and other useful elements. The theme builder allows you to craft custom headers, footers, and other theme elements for global use on your website. When combined with the official Hello Elementor WordPress theme, you really could craft your own look and feel for your site using the free theme and an Elementor Pro license. In other words, you could basically subscribe to Elementor Pro and build a custom website without also needing to purchase a WordPress theme, something notable to Elementor. I also appreciate the pop-up builder that allows you to craft exit intent pop-ups for lead generation. Elementor Pro by itself could be a sufficient solution to build a website combined with free WordPress themes, but you can also install Elementor on any WordPress website and use the page builder with premium themes. However, one huge downside to Elementor is the pricing model. They don't offer a lifetime license, meaning you'll be paying an annual fee for Elementor Pro for each website that uses it. Thankfully, the Elementor team does offer very reasonable bulk discounts. One website is $49 a year, 25 websites is $199 a year, and 1,000 websites is $9.99 a year. Still, some users are bothered by this pricing model when other page builders like WP Bakery and Divi offer lifetime licenses. Elementor says their business model cannot be sustained without license renewal, and a lifetime license works against customers' interests because there are less resources available to always be adding new features and updates. Overall, Elementor is the best front-end page builder I've tried. It does not offer a back-end option at all, but the Elementor team has committed to making Elementor the ultimate what-you-see-is-what-you-get experience. So unlike WP Bakery and Divi, there's no option in Elementor to go to the wireframe view or the block building view and move things around in the back end. You only get this what you see is what you get experience, which is quite nice. It's kind of like you're editing a Word document. You can just click text on the page, highlight it and change it and drag elements around. It's a very intuitive experience. Elementor plays nice with most WordPress themes. There's quite a few free themes that support it, and even paid themes that include a license to WP Bakery also include support for Elementor if you want to bring your own license. Next up, let's take a look at WP Bakery. WP Bakery is a page builder that's commonly included in premium WordPress themes. There's no free version, though you can purchase a license for a $45 fee. This grants access to use WP Bakery on a single site, and you'll need a license for each additional website you build. WP Bakery shines as a back-end editor first. If you like to think of your website more as a collection of building blocks that you put together, then you load the page in a separate tab to preview it, WP Bakery is for you. It's a totally different experience from a what you see is what you get builder like Elementor, and it's definitely something you'll love or hate. 
Now, WP Bakery does have a front-end editor. It works decently, but it's not nearly as good as Elementor. You can't simply highlight text on the page and start editing it like you can with Elementor. You have to click the pencil icon and edit the elements in the pop-up prompt, then it will update on the page when you save it. Furthermore, drag and drop functionality is far more glitchy than Elementor, and that applies to the backend editor as well. I like WP Bakery because I'm used to it. I've used it in themes for years, and there's a reason it's included in most premium themes. A theme integration license costs only $245. So these super themes like Salient that include WP Bakery for everyone to use only had to pay a $245 one-time fee to do this. To be honest, I wouldn't recommend purchasing a license to WP Bakery. I would use it if it's included in a theme you purchased and you like the back-end editing experience, but it's not something I would go out of my way to purchase for a theme that does not include it. I've always looked at WP Bakery as a page builder to modify demo pages supplied by theme developers. When a page is pre-built for you as a base and you can modify it with the editor, WP Bakery is a decent experience. But if you want to build pages from scratch, WP Bakery can be a frustrating experience. This is when I noticed the WP Bakery team also offers a full website builder called Visual Composer. Visual Composer is a true Elementor alternative that is just a front-end builder, but it features modern technology that gets away from the short codes that WP Bakery uses, and it offers a smoother drag-and-drop experience with a theme builder, pop-up builder, and premium support. It's also worth pointing out that Visual Composer gives you that Word document editing experience where you can just click and drag over text on the page and start making modifications. This is something that is not true for WP Bakery. Overall, Visual Composer is the newer, more modern version of a front-end builder, which WP Bakery lacks in. But for whatever reason, Visual Composer never really caught on. This is probably due to the fact that WP Bakery is offered at a very reasonable price point for theme developers, so that's why we see it included in so many themes. Just like Elementor, Visual Composer has a free version and offers premium plans starting at $49 per year. Unlike Elementor, they offer a better value on bulk licenses at $349 a year for 1,000 sites. While I do appreciate the smoothness of Visual Composer, it's still difficult to recommend purchasing a license. This is because unlike Elementor Pro, Visual Composer isn't officially supported by many WordPress themes. You could build your website from scratch using Visual Composer, but you could also do that using Elementor Pro for the same price. There are endless tutorials and articles online for using Elementor to build your website, but the community and usage for Visual Composer seems much less popular. So overall, I wouldn't recommend purchasing a license to WP Bakery or Visual Composer, but WP Bakery is a decent page builder if you can find a theme that includes it. Having a superior what you see is what you get editor for creating designs from scratch is important. When you're building your website, you want it to stand out and make a good impression. You want visitors to know a lot of thought went into the clean design of your website, and part of that process is getting the best domain for your brand. This brings us to today's sponsor, True Name Domains. Your domain should clearly describe who you are and what you do. It's a more significant part of your brand than ever before. Good domains are notoriously difficult to find. What you think is your perfect choice is already taken, or it's not clear what your options are. The great news is that there are new domain options that are not only available, but more relevant and memorable. Most people know about .com domain names, but there are actually hundreds of other domain extensions that you can use that are often a better fit for your brand and business. A lot of these fall under the brand of true name domains. True name domains have anti-phishing technology which prevents your domain name from being hacked as easily. They're more specific, prevent compromise, and tell people exactly what you do and what you're about. They are also treated the same in SEO as legacy extensions. There are true name extensions for brands spanning almost any niche you can think of. So if you're a creator, you could use a dot .studio. If you're a gamer or live streamer, you could get a dot .live domain. I'm so excited to bring my community a special offer for you to get your own domain for your project, whether it's one you're actively working on or something you plan to launch in the future. My friends at Dynadot are offering 50% off standard true name domains for my community. 
I recently got the domain Crailer.academy to use for my newly launched online course, which to me was a much better choice than CrailerAcademy.com. Go to the link in the description below or go to Dynadot.deals to get the exclusive offer of 50% off with promo code Crailer. Simply search some of your preferred keywords and you'll be able to browse all of the available domains. I really want to know what the domains are that you chose. Go ahead and share the domain or domains you got in the comments section below so I can check it out. Thanks to TrueName for sponsoring this video, and now let's take a look at another page builder worth considering. Divi by Elegant Themes is available as an annual subscription or a lifetime license. Divi works on unlimited websites and includes bonuses like a magazine theme and a pop-up builder for email list conversions. Divi is different from the other page builders because it's both a WordPress theme and a page builder. You can sort of think of it like using the Hello Elementor theme with the Elementor page builder. Divi is a WordPress theme that includes many pre-made layouts to choose from, but it's also a proprietary page builder. It is possible to upload the Divi page builder plugin to any WordPress theme, and I suppose it's possible to use the Divi WordPress theme with Elementor or another page builder, but the two are definitely made to work together. Divi excels as a front-end editor, bringing an experience similar to Elementor. You get that Word document style editing where you can just click the text on the page and start typing to add more. The drag and drop functionality is smooth, and you can quickly change back and forth between the front-end editor and the back-end editor, which Divi calls wireframe view. The wireframe view is definitely inferior to WP Bakery. While the drag and drop experience works intuitively, row columns are difficult to visualize, and elements don't give a content preview like they do in WP Bakery. For example, you can see here that I have four blurbs in a row, but I don't know the contents of the blurb until I click the settings gear. With WP Bakery, I could see a preview of element contents to know what each item is before I edit it. I would definitely consider Divi mainly for the front end editor. I think the back end editor is lacking in many areas. Overall, Divi isn't amazing in any one particular area, but what it does offer is value. Purchasing a lifetime license to Divi and being able to use the Divi theme and page builder on unlimited websites, including client websites, is a strong value proposition. WP Bakery offers a lifetime license, but you need a license for every website. And Elementor needs a plan sized to fit the number of websites you have. Divi's business model is truly unique, and Elegant Themes has been around for years with a proven reputation of providing updates, new features, and bug fixes. The other unique thing about Divi is the holistic approach to customer support. Since it's both a WordPress theme and a page builder, you'll be able to reach out to Elegant Themes for help on just about any issue that could arise with your WordPress site. Elegant Themes support is some of the best I've experienced. They have a 24-7 live chat system available on their website, and they're always ready to jump in and help if you have questions or problems. So with all of this in mind, which page builder is right for you? Elementor is the clear choice if you need a free page builder, and I also think it's the best overall page builder for front-end editing. WP Bakery is a convenient option included in many premium WordPress themes if you don't want to think about purchasing a page builder separately, and it's also the best back-end page builder I've tried. Divi is a compelling value option for creating many websites with a lifetime license. The back-end editor is lacking, but the front-end editor is not too far behind Elementor. You're also getting a WordPress theme and some great customer service. If you have the time and determination, you can definitely create an amazing website with Divi. By the way, you might be wondering why I didn't mention Gutenberg in this video. Gutenberg is the official drag-and-drop WordPress editor that's been under development for quite some time. While Gutenberg is absolutely the future of WordPress and will become more significant over time, I don't feel like it's ready for use yet for building a full-on website. I know some may disagree with me, but I'd say if you're using WordPress for blogging, Gutenberg is just fine. But if you're building a website for your business or brand, I would recommend using a third-party page builder for now. As for my preference, I've stuck with WP Bakery out of convenience because I know it's a solid editor I can trust, and one I don't have to pay separately for. I look for WordPress themes that include a license, and I've been used to the back-end editor for years. 
I am intrigued by front-end editing though, and I would like to explore trying Elementor with some of my favorite themes like Salient, which includes WP Bakery, to see how they work together. So which page builder is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to get 50% off your true name domain with promo code Krayler at the link in the description below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss when I release new videos. And with that said, I'll catch you guys next time.